Hey guys, happy Easter. It is Sunday here in Washington, D.C., and I am down on the banks of, well, what's known as the Washington Channel, because right over there is Fort McNair, U.S. Army base. But it's also the secondary landing zone for the White House. When the White House landing zone is fouled, as it is today because of the White House Easter egg roll going on this week, uh, they bring the helicopters into Fort McNair. And Marine One is inbound right now. All right, we got one coming right over this tree. Ah, he's over there. And it looks like he's going straight to Anacostia. Don't think he's coming in here. You guys can't even see it, can you? Because he's behind the tree. Let's see if I can get him when he comes out of this one. There he is. That's the first one. Turn around, get ready for the second one. I'm not sure he's going to Anacostia. He looks like he is coming in. I think this will be the backup. Staff helicopter. I hear the other two behind me. ships behind me. That'll be the Marine One. So the marshaller is trying to get that chopper down before the next one comes in. And giving the position of that, I don't think that's Marine One. I think that's the staff helicopter. I think one of these next two, which I'm going to show you now, it's going to be Marine One. There we go. the focus. Oh, this could be the decoy. No, the other one's going down at Anacostia. Oh, they got to come right over us? This could be cool. The other one's setting down at Anacostia. can stand up this time. A lot of people walking around the LZ. There's the marshaller. Giving the signals behind the tree, which means this one's going to set down right behind the tree. Ah, I got to move. 
Okay, so what we now put on is a 2x converter to double the power of this camera. It loses a little bit in focus ability and loses a little bit of light, but we should see them come out in just a moment. Rotor stop. Marines opening the door. Another Marine. Two Marines. I think that's standard when they land at a military base. So they have two Marines at Andrews, but when he's at the White House, it's just one Marine. Agent. All right, let's get ready to take pictures. So there's the press pool over there. They're not getting any questions in. Doesn't look like he's taking any questions. Going right to his vehicles. It must be Hunter taking his son. And they make their, there he is. He's got the baseball hat on. Okay, he's gonna go motorcade back to the White House. I don't think they're taking the Beast today. I think they've got SUVs today. Uh, maybe that's the Beast there. Can't really make it out. That's the staff and the family. Is that Hunter? I go to another vehicle. Or they get an Uber. They don't get an Uber. Oh, that's the press. Run, press! Run! So they've got to run back to their vans for fear of being left behind once the motorcade leaves. And we're gonna leave. And it's uh, it's the beast. All right, that would have been a good photo, but uh, we're not gonna be able to get in position because he the roads will be closed. It takes forever to get out of here. All right, there's Beast One, Beast Two, or Stagecoach and Spare, and they are rolling up uh, South Capitol Street towards the White House. Roads are closed. We got to go through all those tourists though. Gonna be a lot of tourists taking pictures of the motorcade today. We got Eagle up over to my left. There goes the press fans. Alrighty, we're out of here. We'll see him tomorrow at the White House anyway. That's Night Hawk 1. Okay, I'm sitting here focusing on the other helicopter, missing the, the fact that this one is gonna come right up over us. So let's let's get ready to film this guy. Maybe he'll buzz us really good. He's right in the trees and he's coming right up here. He's waiting for the other guy. Okay, Nighthawk 3 or 8 or whatever it is is uh, lifted as well. The backup helicopter. They're going to fly as a flight. Okay, there goes Nighthawk 1 and behind him, Nighthawk eight or three. They usually call the decoys eight or three. I don't know why. Let's see if we can get both of them in frame. Yeah, there they are. And they're going to go down to Anacostia, which is literally right over the other side of the river. It's right there. So, not a long flight. Now, a lot of guys ask me, I don't see any decoys. Where are the decoys? Well, the decoys usually hang out here at Anacostia when a helicopter comes into the White House. So like if he's flying to Andrews, he'll pick up his decoys right here. And we're only about, oh gosh, we're about a minute away from the White House by air, probably about two or three miles by driving. So this is where they base themselves. This is their forward operating base because technically they're based at Quantico. Now they don't like to talk about this much. Whenever I've talked to their pilots or crews, they don't really talk much about this facility. And the other one is, there he is. That building behind you, see there, that big one right there, that's the Defense Intelligence Agency's headquarters. The DIA is sort of like the CIA for the Pentagon. They're more focused with practical matters, like where is that piece of artillery, rather than who is the president of Belarus. Belarus. All right. All right, they're going down for the night, and I guess I should get home and cook for my kids. Let's go see what kind of photos we got today. Hi. Is this our preset or final gather? Um, 
This Don't isn't the final gathering. Okay. So there is the Oval Office on the West Wing. We are going out for our gather. Good Lord, it's a zoo. We have a very small riser. Oh, we got a TV cut. Crap. Who's here? Hey, Will, are we here? We speak in it. Is that open or? <laughs> Looks like there's more room over here. <laughs> oh, man, there's no room on this riser at all. Let's see. But you're gonna have to, you're gonna have a video guy right in front of you. Is there room up there? Um, I reset. Oh. I might go to the cut. Let's see what we could do. Oh, sorry. Um, is that the right? Oh, yeah. It's weird. Oh, the pool's going to be right here. Yeah. I'd like to say you probably go to the right place to the Just to annoy us? <laughs> All right, where's he going to be? Eight, nine, ten. Mic check. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check. Oh, and it looks like Cinderella's over there, too. Uh, it is Paw Patrol. There's a bunny, and I think the Philly fanatic is over here. There he is. The Philly's fanatic. Exciting. There's Charlie Brown. There's Garfield out there on the South Lawn. Gal Gadot is here too. There's Hal Roker of the Today Show doing his stand up. What's oh, a new movie? It's not Grimace? What is it? From the movie If. if. Oh, we got the raven. And Are you ready for the Easter egg roll? Are you gonna get some eggs? Yeah. Are you Are you waiting to meet the President Biden? What are you gonna say to him? Thank you. We have some minions over here. Oh, we got minions too. <laughs> Bring in the minions. Sorry guys, they're universal. Time track obligation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, because Universal owns uh, Minions and NBC. And so. Oh, that makes sense. Paw Patrol arriving. Al Roker. None of 
us know who that is. But we're all taking pictures of him nonetheless because we think he's. I don't think they're actually playing. Maybe they are. There goes Al Roker. He's done for the day. Today's show is over. the Colonial Fife and Drum Corps. Hey guys, so we're just sitting here waiting for the president to show up. It'll be 10:20. I don't know what time it is now. Uh, we've got the uh, fife and drum corps over there at attention. Uh, I think they're taking a photo, or they're going to march on next as soon as uh, as soon as that little quintet disappears. Yep, here they come. are much bigger now. There's another band back there. Well, maybe that was the uh, drum corps. They went down that way. It's getting a bit more crowded now. My feet are very wet. <laughs> so we get the heads up from the Wranglers that uh, Biden is going to come over to this area to do his egg roll. So we've got to get all set up. Oh, this umbrella is in our way. That's awful. Kirby, the uh, National Security Council spokesman. All right, it's 10:10, and we're waiting for him to show up. I'm right in front of the CNN people. Uh, I believe this is CNN, and uh, they're doing live stand-ups. Unfortunately, they've got an umbrella blocking my view. I'll we'll have to shoot around that.
guests, the President of the United States and Dr. Biden, accompanied by the official White House Easter Bunnies. She's going to blow the whistle.
Okay, now we gotta get out of this. More kids still playing. More kids lined up. Yeah, he's still there. I liked your. <laughs> hey, Hunter. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, guys, that's the White House Easter egg roll. It was chaos. I'm going to go home and file from a coffee shop because the press gallery is a zoo. Here's some real life White House photographers. Some real life. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, guys. Let's bail. Okay, guys, so that is the White House Easter egg roll that is open to the public, I should mention. It's a lottery, but if you want to take your kids next year, it's you just sign up on the White House uh, when they make an announcement. And it, like I said, it's a lottery. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, I got a lot of photos I'm sending in. Uh, you guys are looking at them now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. No idea what's on the schedule, but well, we'll make it interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.